So in this video, I wanted to show you how you can make layered animated NFTs. Well, this is the NFT collection that we're going to be putting together in this video. And by the end of it, we'll have created and minted this dino. And so you can see that this collection actually has a couple layers uh, in mintables that's been set up. So there's the backgrounds and there's the bodies, but then there's the hats and the skins. And you can see that there's two layers that are actually animated and, and mintables now can layer them together. So this is a feature that we've been working on for a really long time. So I'm really excited to show you how to do something like this for your collection. I'm over here on mintables and I'll come down here and create a new project. And I'll call this project moving dinos. So we're going to use the same artwork that we've been using for most of our tutorials, but we're going to use a couple different layers, a couple different assets that are animated. So let's go ahead and create a group called dinos. And if you don't know what I'm doing right now, there's other videos that I'll link to that explain it. So I'm just going to go ahead and, and show you how the animation works. So I'll create my backgrounds and I will create my bodies. What else do I need? I hand, we got hats and skins. And then I'll start uploading my, my images here. So this is a pretty simple project. Most of these layers only have one uh, trait and this is the one that's animated. So here's one, we got a feather hat and then I'm gonna create a skin and the skin will also be animated. Okay, it's gonna be a cape. So I have two animated layers. They're both GIFs. That's the only type of files that are kind of animated that we support right now. And so if I come up here and just start building my NFT, just an example one, I'll pin a background and I'll pin this. I'll pin the eye. So, so far, nothing new has happened yet because this is still the how Mintables has always worked. It was always able to layer um, non-animated images. So this is, this is gonna be new. So we've, we just put on a hat that's animated and we're gonna build something that kind of looks like Robin Hood here because we're also gonna give it a cape. So this is really cool because there's two layers that are animated. And Mintables is actually able to layer two animated layers on top of obviously the four or five different layers that are not animated. And so now this, you can actually use this to create moving NFTs, which, you know, the NFT space is always changing. And this is something that I hope and I think will become more and more popular. So I'm going to save this just so we can take a look at what was created here. And you can see that Mintables has correctly created this full GIF. And so now we can actually go ahead and we can either generate the images to download to our computer. So I can come here and I could generate them and this will let me, let's say I wanna create five of these. Now you, you gotta be careful because when it comes to GIFs, these things are, this is so much slower to generate. Like you can see, that this takes much longer. Um, and so if you don't have a powerful enough computer, a lot of the times this generation might just freeze in your browser. The other thing that's worth knowing is that currently Mintables only supports GIFs that are uploaded that have a max of 20 frames. So when you create your GIF, you have to make sure that you keep it under 20 frames. And the other thing is you have to make sure that the GIFs all have the same number of frames. That will give you the best results. So right now, Mintables, we, we try our best to try to figure out how to uh, calculate the optimal number of frames. But if you just make sure that every single GIF always has the same number of frames, you'll have the best results. So here are your generated NFTs. And so for everything that we build, we always make sure that if you don't wanna use our minting software and you don't wanna use our smart contract deployments, you can always just get the raw data downloaded to your computer. But the other thing that you can do is actually, I mean, this is fully integrated into Mintables. And if you choose to deploy the minting page through Mintables, you won't have to worry about the generation freezing or your browser crashing because all of that is gonna be done on our servers, which are much more powerful machines that can kind of generate these GIFs very quickly. 
So if you want to deploy your collection and deploy your smart contract directly through Mintables, instead of clicking on generate images, you can come down here and click on deployment. And this will set up a minting page for you. So I'll go ahead and I'll choose to deploy on Polygon. And I'll keep the slug to be the URL for this to be moving dinos. I'll call it moving dinos. And let's say moving. I'll have the marketplace be a build -a bear. Again, if this doesn't make sense to you, um, I'll link you to a different video that explains kind of what a minting page is, how it works, and what Mintables is able to do here. But for now, I'll just say that I want to deploy a collection that is only maybe 10. Um, and I'll set the minting price to be 0 0.06. And so now I will go ahead and I will create the contract. So now our smart contract is being deployed and our minting page is going to be created in like 10 minutes. And we're back. So our contract has now finished deploying. See down here, the cost is what I set it to. And just to make this look a little bit better, I'm going to set the profile picture of this contract. I actually set it to this moving picture. I think that's much cooler. Um, and let's save that. Let's take a look at the minting page that Mintables has created for us. OK, so this is our minting page. So this is the minting page that Mintables will generate for us automatically when you deploy your smart contract. Now, this is the build a bear minting page. So remember, Mintables has, I come here, it has a couple types of minting pages. One of them is the build a bear, one of them is the random minter. The random minter is probably what you're more familiar with. So I'll give you a quick demo of how build a bear works. So, build a bear is just you can pick, this actually lets people build their NFT. And obviously, we, um, we didn't put that many images here. And so the thing that people can build is, is probably going to be pretty limited for this collection. Um, obviously, for your collection, you probably want to have more stuff going on. Um, but, but we'll actually, let's change it to a random minter. And for the random minter, I actually kind of like the marquee look. Okay, so now if I come here and I refresh the page, you will see that we have... Uh, this is now our minting page. So now this is going to be random. If I click mint, it will start the minting. It'll create a new NFT that'll be animated, right? And then we won't, but we won't actually see what it looks like until um, the minting is completed. So this is probably what you're more familiar with for minting page. And I will come here and confirm. And there he is. There's a little dino. And he's fully animated, and this will integrate with all NFT marketplaces. So this again, the, you know, anything you do on the blockchain, it takes a little bit of time for it to fully complete. That's just kind of how a blockchain works. So this again will take like three, four, five minutes to finish minting. And when it does finish minting, we'll come back here and we'll take a look at what this NFT looks like on OpenSea. So I'll see you back here in a second. Okay, there we go. So here's our little dino. You can see it's minted, and here is what it looks like on OpenSea. Somehow three people have favored it already. I'm guessing these are probably bots, and it's owned by me. And you can see that it's still animated. Okay, so that's all I wanted to show. This is a brand new feature on Mintables. It's kind of in beta, but you can now make layered animated NFTs directly through Mintables and mint them through our whole minting setup. So I hope that's helpful and I will see you in the next video.